please welcome Nikki Payne. syndrome because if I did I just march around town all day long going Snowshoe, right? We come from a Catholic, Catholic, unbelievably Catholic town, right? And my mother's got the nerve to say to me, why don't you do a show down at the Paris Hall someday? <laughs> <laughs> no! Can you imagine that nightmare? Hey, Father McNeil, how's it going? perceptive of you might notice there's something different about me can't quite put your fingers on it but you know there's something strange about that sassy siren you're right I'm short I was gonna talk about the list and I have a list <laughs> over at Rose like no it's been really hard trying to keep down the job with it though. I used to sell seashells by the seashore. <laughs> then I tried a career in phone sex. You know, giving people what they want to hear. Oh, you. Hello? <laughs> He's called before. My parents tried 
and still some some Nova Scotia culture in me, but it just didn't work. <laughs> That's my snap dancing. Yeah. <laughs> They tried to teach me Gaelic, too, the, the, the language Gaelic, but that's just a hard language when you have a lisp. <laughs> and she's having a stroke! Oh, my goodness. <sighs> getting to know guys, <laughs> you know, showing them that I like them, you know? <laughs> so I was, I was reading a book, uh, a book on how birds mate, you know, how they show the red, that they're ready to mate. So after the show tonight, I'm going out, so I'm giving it a try. I'm really like, hey, how you doing? They, they, they interest me. It's very cool. Did you know that some animals, like the female rat, when she becomes sexually aroused, she has this knee-jerk reaction where her spine goes into an inverted U so that the male can, like, mount her? <laughs> Thank God this doesn't happen to us. <laughs> You're out on a date? No, really, I'm fine. I just need to sit down for a minute. on the bus. <laughs> I get to sit wherever I want. Get out of my way, I'm horny! <laughs> Am I, is my skirt too short, sir? Am I disturbing you? Is my my hanging out occasionally? <laughs> that would be sad. That would just... <laughs> oh, it was funny for a while, but then... Her bum was hanging out there. There we go. We'll just do that guy some quick there. Now everyone's seen it. Everyone has seen the cottage cheese. <laughs> oh, my sweet lord. Yeah! <laughs> this is the only job in the world where I can hump things and not get fired. <laughs> I used to be a greeter at Walmart. <laughs> But I, I wish we were more like animals. I wish we were more like dogs. Because you'll never get a person to greet you the way your dog will. <laughs> Jill, is that you? Oh my god, I haven't seen you in years! <laughs> what have you been up to? And I, I had to write it down because there's big words. <laughs> yes, I don't have any pockets <laughs> coming out from the movies. But I had to write it down because there's big words and I don't understand them. <laughs> but these dog food ads that say like this. Revolutionary scientific thinking went into the development of this dog food. Provides recommended levels of glucosamine and chondroitin sulfate your dog needs. <laughs> I've seen my dog lick her own ass. <laughs> I don't know how worried she is about her glucosamine levels. <laughs> I 
I can't lick my own <laughs> Yes. I find my daughter. <laughs> and there's a lady sitting there going, I don't like this. This is wrong. This is all wrong. And then finally it's like, <laughs> she's licking her bum. <laughs> I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> the guy from Nova Scotia in back again. Yeah! I am a big booze hound. This is me sober. <laughs> oh my crap. That's frightening. It's just, uh, you wouldn't want to see me drunk because it's just sad. <laughs> I'd just be like, screw you! Screw you! Screw you! Join the drunk club. <laughs> drunk club. D R U N K. Drunk, drunk, drunk club. Drunk club. But you do, and they give you this pamphlet on helpful hints on how to stop drinking, and it's well meaning. Full of but well meaning. And one of their helpful hints is stock your fridge with other fun beverages, <laughs> such as mineral water and guava juice. <laughs> Let's see. I'm not getting laid. I spit when I talk. My life is slowly spiraling into an emotional abyss. I can sure go for a scalpel right now! lot about a person by their a person's personality by their facial features like for example you sir your eyes would suggest that you're kind towards others and you miss your your ears would suggest that you're fun and outgoing and you <laughs> stay away from small children <laughs> Australia, do we have anybody from Australia in the audience? <laughs> the kid, I am. <laughs> they were a friend of mine was telling me in Australia, mind you, they like to uh, they like to screw around with my head up here in Toronto. A little girl from Nova Scotia, they like to tell me stuff that ain't true. Like, <laughs> go with the man, he'll give you money. <laughs> But they were telling me that in Australia, the kangaroos can sense when a woman's on her PMS and they'll try to attack her. <laughs> I'd like to see the kangaroo that would screw with me on my PMS. You want to go? You want to go? I'll take your mouth to your son of a bitch, let's go! They got nothing like me in Australia. <laughs> Apparently they got nothing like me in Toronto either. I'm going to read you something. This is... Well, you're like, how much paper does she have in her... It's like my grandmother. She used to pull tissue out of her... Let me wipe your face. No! No, it touched Nana. No! You guys are going to like this. This is from my favorite book. You're going to like it. You're going to like it. With his tongue, he began to tease and suckle, first one, then the other nipple to a fevered peak. <laughs> it gets better. <laughs> he reached lower, slowly parted the curls, and touched her heated area below. <laughs> I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> taught her something new. He knelt before her, placed his mouth where his hand had just been, and laughed at her feminine folds with an intimacy so intense she found herself gasping. <sighs> I'd like to be able to talk to a guy like that just once. <laughs> I'd like to look him in the eye and go, I want you to lick my feminine folds. <laughs> in my heated area. <laughs> Welcome to Walmart. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.
you very much. <laughs> Do you know what time it is, folks? What time is it, Nikki? Because <laughs> I knew you fuckers wouldn't answer. Girls come out on the field. Out of me. There we go. <laughs> the girls come out on the field with their happy go lucky streamers and they're singing a happy go lucky song. And that's what I want to do for you, nice folks. But I don't have any uh, streamers, so I stole some napkins from my dressing room. Hang on a sec. <laughs> what? What? No, <laughs> I mean, I stole some napkins from my, from my dressing room. Canadian entertainment. <laughs> and I was going through my uh, CD collection to find a really happy-go-lucky song that I could sing for you folks, and I found one by Nine Inch Nails. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody clap! kids up and drive the neighborhood past them. <laughs> when dad got off at us, he'd say, don't make me turn this house around. <laughs> they were strict. If I wasn't home by curfew, they'd move. <laughs> Good-looking young fellas in the front row here. Nice. Nice. You guys out on a guy's night out? Guy's night chairs and everything? Is that what you're doing? Kind of starting out your Friday night? You. Why, uh, why didn't you go to a strip club? I thought this was one. You thought this was one? Oh, well, sweet Jesus. Here, I'll give you a taste of what you're missing. <laughs> I'm just doing it now because it's scratching my ass. <laughs> the comedy doesn't work out for me. I'm going on the home shopping network with these things. <laughs> it's the asthmatic. <laughs> and if you call now, you'll get the crutch about it. Absolutely free. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> T-shirt though? Do you like do you like my little T-shirt? Yeah, yeah. I got it in one of those little stores when you walk into in the mall, and it's like boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, chicka. <laughs> this little girl named Mingy came up to me. She's like, "Hi, my name's Mingy. How can I help you?" <laughs> I'm like, "Well, Mingy." Get up. <laughs> and she sold me another t shirt that says Princess across the front of it. Yeah, only my c are too small. <laughs> so the P and the R went under my arm. <laughs> I'm walking around all day with incest written across my chest. <laughs> well, 
I am from the Maritimes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is fun. Do you guys like? Do you go on clubbing? You guys are pretty young. Do you guys go clubbing? Do you go dancing? <laughs> Obviously, I don't. <laughs> Look at me! I'm in a rave. <laughs> I'm on E. <laughs> no, but do you do you like do you like the girls with the tops? Do you do you like? The you're smiling. You're smiling. <laughs> you like them. And I'm not going to make fun of any of you little girls who wear the tops. By all means, go ahead and wear them. But in the middle of winter, wear a winter coat over your top. Do you see these little girls going from top to top? They're like, I'm some sexy. <laughs> I'm going to screw, 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 screw you. They have such a nice way of saying things. They got such cute little sayings, right? And it got me thinking about my grandmother and how she used to always say to me, Lord Tundra and Jesus, give me a stick! I'm gonna make the life of the auto bastard! <laughs> oh, Nan. Do you guys like the Jenny Jones show? Do you like clap if you know what I'm talking about, the Jenny Jones show? television show. I freaking love it. And you know what my favorite episode is? The out of control teenagers. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> you don't know me. You don't know me. Sit down. You get jealous. You ain't got a body like mine. I'm a genie in a bottle, baby. You gotta rub me the right way. I can't believe this is my job. Or better yet, you people came in here to see this. Kids for the Backstreet Boys. <laughs> I tried to do that joke back home one night and nobody laughed. <laughs> That's when it hit me. I had the nicest body in the room. <laughs> I was gonna go on a diet though, right? I was gonna go on a diet, but that's when it hit me. <laughs> He gave me these diet pills, eh? And on the on the warning label it said, could cause anal leakage. <laughs> yes, yeah, I look good, but I smell like <laughs> I was reading in a self-defense book. I was reading in a self-defense book that if you grab a man's scrotum, and you twist it as far as you can, he'll pass out. <laughs> Holy, I wish I had a scrotum. You got a test you're not ready for? Uh, teacher, I don't feel so... <sighs> when 
I lived at home and my brother stole a remote control. <laughs> You're taking a nap! It said there's two things you gotta ask yourself when you get angry. The first thing you gotta ask is what's the source of my anger? And then secondly, you gotta find a constructive way in which to deal with the situation. <laughs> I got to do it a couple weeks ago. I'm like, oh, I'm angry! Ho, ho, ho. 
Oh my God. His kids are going to be scarred for life. <laughs> and I can see them when they're 20 years old in a shrink top. So whenever I try to touch my girlfriend, all I can see is this. <laughs> all up here in the front row, you guys seem like pretty healthy fellas, but do you like the occasional french fries, hamburger kind of thing every once in a while? Do you occasionally? No, that's good. That's very good because did you know that the same things that can clog your arteries to your heart and give you a heart attack can clog the arteries in your penis to make you impotent? <laughs> I wonder if CPR would work. Oh, that was so wrong. <laughs> I don't spit. <laughs> Folks, I am never going to be on CTV ever again. <laughs> there goes my dream of being a weather girl on 10 a.m. Can you imagine that? Be a weather girl at 10 a.m. That would be beautiful. <laughs> right after my nervous breakdown. <laughs> Hello, my name is Nikki. Welcome to the Sunshine Weather Report. There is a, there is a high pressure system coming in from the west that will cause rain. A lot like the pressure that comes in from day to day life. <laughs> that just keeps crushing you and crushing you until you can no more! And you cry, you cry a sea of tears, but man's basic inhumanity towards man would keep them from even hearing your cries, much less pulling you from the relentless hole in which you lie, waiting for death to take you away from this sick world and its stinking stench of life. You might want to bring an umbrella to work. new uh, website out on, uh, out on the computers. <laughs> I'm technologically advanced. <laughs> There's a website on my computer, and it, I don't know what it does, but I press the buttons. <laughs> but, but, um, but there's this website out that's called howmanybeer.com. And you know what it is? What it is, is it's just, uh, you're smiling, you've heard of it, haven't you? <laughs> what it is, is young ladies can send their picture into this website, and then young gentlemen, such as yourself, <laughs> get to vote on how many beer it would take before they would have sexual intercourse with the said lady. <laughs> His girlfriend's looking a mite bit angry now. And I think I'm gonna have to monitor your computer use. Now, some women would say that this is cruel. I don't. I just think it's good information to have. That just takes all the guesswork out of it for me. You might call it cruel, but from here on in, you can call me Nikki Baker's Dozen Pain. with my underwear. I won't get into the specifics of it, but, but there's a problem with my, you know, my underwear. I'll just leave it at that. But there's a full body, there's a particular pair of underwear I have. There's a full body underwear, and they've got these hooks in the crotch, see, so you can go to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, they're sharp. I had them on in church on Sunday, and they came apart on me. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!
having trouble with my bum. Again, I won't get into the specifics of it. But do you know what my doctor calls having a crap? Evacuation of the bowels. <laughs> That's pretty tense. Everyone remain calm. There's no need to panic. You will all proceed to the designated exit area in an orderly fashion. <laughs> in the audience by round of applause. <laughs> All the couples are like, don't make any sudden movements. <laughs> but you guys are a lovely couple, very sweet. Very. What are your names? Uh, Michael. Michael and Renanda. Renanda. That's good. <laughs> usually, no, that's good because usually I get something a real hard lisp name, right? My name's Sassafras and he's sad. <laughs> So it's, it's Michael and Fernanda. That's very nice. Fernanda, I'm not going to pick on you. I'm not going to, you know, but, but, but you know, when you're talking dirty to Michael tonight, because I know you do, Fernanda. I know you do. You're a nice girl. Girl next door. I used to be a nice girl, Fernanda. <laughs> of you that are, that are talking dirty to your loved one tonight, I think you should use the dictionary because that would make things so much more interesting. You could look at him and you could go, Michael, I want you to manipulate my breasts. That is, I want you to operate them by the hands or by mechanical means in a skillful manner. I want you to use them by artful, unfair, or insidious means to one's own advantage. I want you to squeeze my <laughs> Give it a go. <laughs> oh my goodness. I was, um, I was watching, uh, they got this show here in Toronto now called Puppetry of the Penis. Have you heard of it? Have you heard of the Puppetry of the Penis? It's a show where these guys like make stuff out of their units. <laughs> The boat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and, and as well, you know, and so I was thinking, I was like, do you know what show I really want to see? I want to see Puppetry the Penis meets the Vagina Monologues. <laughs> that would be an awesome show, wouldn't it? It'd be like, I realized that my vagina as a woman was, are you even listening to me? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The show I want to see. <laughs> Would you folks like to see a puppet show? <laughs> this is for the kids, because I tend to be a little dirty, as you might have noticed. A little dirty, so this is for the kids. <laughs> and I want to be on a kid show. <laughs> Kitties! <laughs> We're gonna make crafts today! <laughs> but but this, is, this, is, this is gonna be fun. You're gonna love it once I get it on my fingers here. We're gonna love it. Okay. Puppet show begins now. <laughs> Welcome to Oswald Maximum Security Penitentiary! <laughs> Get me. 
what are you gonna give me for it? The only thing I have left. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Hey, bitch, come on over here. I ain't nobody's bitch. I got 